Happy Sunday, YouTube land. Welcome to my inspirational and devotion uh, content for today. How are you all doing today? How was your Sunday? Did you enjoy your Sunday service? I deeply did. And I'm telling you, it's been an awesome and amazing time this whole entire weekend. We had our women's, our annual women's service. It started uh, last Friday. And then uh, yesterday we had our women's breakfast. And then today we had the big finale. And it was just really, really awesome. So let me know in the comments what kind of Sunday or weekend or both that you all had. So today, I believe I did this topic before, but it's just in my spirit to do it again. And if I haven't done it before, it's still in my spirit to do it. So it's called Peacemakers. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they will be called sons of God. And that little scripture could be found in St. Matthew, the fifth chapter, the ninth verse. There is a lot of trouble in the world. We are subjected to one violent scene after another on our TV screens. Different countries are at war with each other. And so are families, towns, and cultures. Everywhere we look, we see conflict and fighting. And that's not even taking into consideration the normal bad relations between people who once were good friends, but who are now hostile toward each other. When God forgives our sins, we establish a relationship of peace with him. And we learn to live at peace with ourselves. This peace then spills over into our relationships with other people. That does not mean that we won't ever have misunderstandings. And our perceptions will sometimes cause conflict in our relationships. But Christians have a deep, powerful drive to establish peace. We are not comfortable with conflict and hostility. At heart, Christians are peacemakers. If you are in conflict with someone, try your best to go and make peace. Then you will be called a child of God. And if I were to reiterate on that, uh, notice the scripture says, if you are in conflict with someone, try your best to go and make peace. Then you will be called a child of God. That hit me so hard recently. Uh, the word if and the next sentence that starts with then. And I have to ask myself, okay, Sheila, who are you in conflict with? What do you need to do in order to be called a child of God. And I did that. I contact this person and uh, we did settle uh, the situation as far as accepting apologies and everything. And so I felt relieved. And before I did that, I was not at peace in my spirit. I wasn't. And I'm grateful that God got all in my sleep and got all in my conscience and got all in my mind because he wants me to be his child. But his word does not go out in void or in vain. His word cuts like a two-edged sword, the Bible says. And because he's a God who cannot lie, we have to be obedient. And the good thing is when God knows your heart and he, uh, and he talks to you through your conscience, his real children will do something about it. We will be uncomfortable. We will uh, obey him. 
And that would be the difference between a child of God and somebody who is not a child of God. Um, they may or may not have a conscience when they offend somebody. Um, but a child of God, when you have a conscience, because if you, if you do somebody wrong or if, let's say you didn't intentionally do anybody wrong, because I didn't intentionally do anybody wrong, but things just didn't work out and I needed to, uh, make peace with this person at first i fought i fought that thing y'all i'm like i don't need to make peace <laughs> they need to make peace with me <laughs> you know you know how we do it sometimes but uh the lord said no he, he just got all in my sleep all in my conscience and this went on for a few days before i gave in and when i gave in that burden dropped like a heavy weight it just fell off of me like a heavy weight so if i had obeyed god the first night i wouldn't even had that weight all that time i'm going somewhere with this y'all so in order to be a child of god there's some things that we have to do uh we we're not just a child of god just because we want to be a child of god we're a child of god when we obey what our father tell us to do you know um god is our spiritual father he's our creator he's he's our number one our spirit man knew god before we knew our parents before we knew each other so yeah our spirit wants to obey god but our flesh that's what we battle because the devil he has domain over the earth so because he's the prince of the of the world and the air and all this type of stuff our flesh is in battle from the day we're born to the day we die we're going to be at war between good and bad and evil and good and you know we it's just going to be a, a a war that that we uh face but i am a true believer and uh i believe it's philippians uh three and sixteen um i can do all things is that philippians three and sixteen babe what is it but say it four and sixteen okay philippians my husband said philippians four and sixteen okay we'll, we'll double check he he kind of looked like he's not sure but anyway um I, I can do all things through christ who strengthens me amen we can do all things through christ who strengthens me amen yes like the video and thank you for coming over listening to that powerful devotion and have a very blessed sunday and in case i didn't say it um we wore purple uh shades of purple uh for women's day and i actually uh, did a little extra. I wore my my lavender and uh, shades of purple from Friday, uh, even for the prayer breakfast uh, that was yesterday, including today being the grand finale. I just got really into it all three days wearing my lavender and purple, and <laughs> I enjoyed it. And um, and purple is a beautiful color, and it's also a symbol of royalty. Amen. So. We are queens and kings and princesses and prince in the eyes of our creator. Don't think anything less of yourself. Uh, other people, opinions, if it's the opposite of what I just said, guess what? It doesn't even matter because God already ordained us to be his royal priesthood. He said we're the head and not the tail. Amen. We just have to believe that and we got to walk in it. Amen. Like the video. Thank you for all the subscribers. Thank you for sharing the videos. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And goodbye until the next video. And um, Wednesday, we will be uploading uh, our next grandma content video. And I believe it is Grandma Winnie's turn this time. We did Grandma Mary 
this past Wednesday. And thank you all for supporting that video. And I really, really appreciate the love that y'all give me with those videos. And even with the other videos, with, no matter what God gives me to upload, thank you for the love. And I give you all the same back every time. Bye. Till next time.